now to our top story where cries for help from Cuban people in America are being heard from DC to Miami to right here in Atlanta. People gathered in Sandy Springs today calling on the American government to help Cubans who are suffering from a dual crisis. The first dealing with the economy in the country, which comes amidst the second crisis, a surge in COVID-19 cases. Arch Newhar sp spoke with many people at that protest today who say they have loved ones in Cuba who are desperate for help. It's a human issue. Cries for help from Cuban Americans rang out Sunday in Sandy Springs, joining Cubans in other American cities who are asking the White House to provide humanitarian assistance to Cuba as the country faces its worst economic crisis in decades. Cubans right now are facing food and medicine shortages and have struggled to get basic supplies. Cuba needs help. Cuban people need help. They need to be able to have an economy that's sustainable for them. So I, I'm for Cuba Libre 100%. Linda Pritchett's parents are from Cuba and she still has family there. She joined dozens of other Cubans from Metro Atlanta like Angie Moore. We have been abandoned before by the Cuban, by the American government in uh, Bay of Pigs. We will not stand for that again. Yeah, we will yeah. not stand for that again. The demonstrations like this come after people in Cuba held an anti-government protest a week ago in Havana. Pritchett says she supports those demonstrators in Cuba. Cubans are waking up. Cubans are getting infused with courage because it's time. It's time. What, if they don't speak up, they're going to continue to live in poverty. For Pritchett and many in the crowd Sunday in Sandy Springs, this isn't about Democrats or Republicans. It's about helping people in need. It's a human issue, and I'm glad it's coming to the forefront, and who I leave it in. Now, so far, President Joe Biden has voiced his support for protesters in Cuba, but there's been no indication from the White House that the president is considering any changes in policies, at least right now. To read more about the ongoing calls for change in Cuba, just head to our website. There we are verifying whether some of the images and online videos of these protests are legitimate. All that's for you right now on 11alive.com.